As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson, and you're in a valley right now. There are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Bertina Noonan is suing dating website owner Harley Federico in the amount of $3,600. Ms. Noonan claims she was set up on a series of disappointing dates and says she wants her money back. Miss Noonan, you're suing Mr. Federico for $3,600 for breach of contract, is that right? That's absolutely right, Your and Honor. And this had to do with joining a dating service? Yes, okay. multi-match, it wasn't exactly multi. How did you find out about this service? I'm sitting with my granddaughter, my 18-year-old granddaughter. Right. You know, I'm 65. Right. I lost my husband 10 years ago. Okay. And it was really tough been 10 years and she said hey grandma how about it it's time already and I felt also that it was time you hadn't dated anybody else no, in the I 10 hadn't years? dated anybody else took me a lot of years right to get over it this one said you get hand selected dates wow. and the thing that I really liked is you get a personal concierge so I imagine I'm going to go in and I'm going to talk to some nice lady right. and she's going to become like a friend and she's going to shepherd me through this process. Well, it, it was didn't nothing like, like that. that. Let me ask you. So are you the owner? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So how long is this? Uh, it's a dating app? Yes, it's a dating website. A website. Um, and how long has it been around? Five years. So we have consultants okay. which go over our clients' profiles and okay. they reach out to our clients and they consult them throughout the whole process. A lot of them have been psychologists, sociologists, uh -huh. um, that's what they do. So when we did the interview process for our consultants, they have that background. Who was assigned to her? Lisa. Lisa. Did you ever speak with Lisa? Well, I thought I was going to meet Lisa, but that wasn't true. I wasn't right. going to meet Lisa. Was she texting finally, with you or finally, something? Finally, after I pestered a lot, I got to talk to her on the phone. This was after I filled out, you should see this questionnaire, you wouldn't believe it. It's like a hundred questions okay. about everything. I fill out this whole thing. And I get to talk to her for 10 minutes. And when I spoke to her, I made clear what I wanted. I was very, very what clear about it. What did you want? It. I wanted someone who was educated, right. sophisticated, right. widowed or divorced, really likes kids, okay. athletic. But did you know about this? Yes, we did. Where's That's... Lisa? You didn't bring her with you? No, she because couldn't. Because most of the conversation was you don't going. don't see Lisa. You Excuse don't... me, was most of your conversation with Lisa? Yes. Yes. Okay, but you didn't bring Lisa here. She Most couldn't of my make it. Brief no, conversation. she couldn't make it. Okay, so did you find any dates for the place? We we actually did. We okay. Found who it. was the first person? Let's call him Gentleman A. Gentleman A. Okay, yes. you remember Gentleman A? Oh, do I remember Gentleman A? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. So here I am. I, first of all, I waited a long time, right? right. Weeks and weeks go by. Right. Nothing, nothing, right. nothing, nothing, nothing. Then finally I get the call. I'm going on my first date. Right. Upscale restaurant, that feels good to me. I like restaurants, right? I get there and I see. What was it? He's wearing like a bowling shirt. A bowling shirt, right. long, looks not so clean to me here. Right. And I'll be very kind. He certainly is not in shape. When I saw it, I saw it from a distance. Right. I saw him. How many I, dates did you have? I don't know. I, I, How many dates did you have? About I had, seven. No, she said. About I, seven I, okay, dates. She had about seven. Because I can't dates. take this time to go through each one of your dates. No. She's he going just, basically off her looks. Literally, he just, just, he just everything had superficial. Not, no. Right. Uh, I've actually matched this gentleman after her, and she, we were yeah, able to get me. him a good match. So you've get, you've matched him up with yes, somebody we else. Yes, have. Okay, been let's talk about gentleman B. Gentleman B, I don't even remember because the, all of the other dates that they right. supplied. Right. After that, I didn't want to drink. I didn't want to eat. Nothing. Right. I just would meet them for coffee. Right. So I met them for coffee. Did you sit and talk to them? I, yes, I would sit and talk. Okay. You know, and I'm good at listening. I'm a good conversationalist. Right. No, you're I, a good talker. Yeah, I'm you're a good, good talker. talker. I'm, a right. good, I'm also a good listener. Right. I, I mean, I, okay. So know, what was here, it about gentleman B? Across, so I don't. 
there was sort of nothing. He didn't like, I like going to plays, right. I like going to restaurants, right. I like working out. He right. didn't like any of those things. Okay. He likes watching TV. I don't oh. like watching okay. TV. So okay, so C, D, E, and F. It was all one, va uh, you know, Just some one variation. disappointment and after He enough. says seven dates. I wouldn't okay. call them dates. I would right. call them little encounters. Have you thought about what it is you bring to the table? Yeah, I bring, first of all, years of a good relationship. Right. I'm very generous. Right. I'm very friendly. Right. I'm really interested in people. I'm actually a social worker. Right. I'm retired now, but I did right. like family counseling. I did okay. a lot of parent counseling, okay. that kind of thing. Right. I just need somebody who enjoys life. These guys right. were all half dead. Right. He doesn't have, he says, <laughs> yeah. you know, he what, says. What was the age range? What was the age range of these guys? Well, these guys were saying that they were like, like, you know, 60, they would right. say, or 65. Right. Then, no, I'm they were like older 75, than that? more like 80. Did, wait, yeah. did anybody come with a walker or a cane? No, 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 but I think maybe they left it in the car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> What was the period of time that she had these dates, quote unquote? Three months. During three months, and there were at least seven in your memory. Yes. At, least, at least seven guys. Yes, and we actually match made her with ten guys. And what but happened to the other three guys? She decided she didn't want to meet up with them at all. Right, so you decided you didn't even want to see the next three. You were done. Done. Over. Done. Over. You went back into your cave then. No, I'm not going to go back into my cave. Okay. I just want to get out of his clutches. Right. And I want my money back. Coming up on Supreme Justice. Nobody promises they're going to find you true love because only you can make that happen. Sometimes you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. Just don't kiss these. And later. Weeks and weeks of making these dresses. These girls have come in for fitting and everything. Now she doesn't want the dress. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Bertina Noonan, who is suing Harley Federico for breach of contract. Okay, so let me see the contract. Yes. You have it? I have it. I, I've, I've circled a few things, you know. <laughs> Okay, by becoming a member of this service, you have access to premium matchmaking services that go just beyond a swipe right and exactly. a website. You get hand-selected dates and access to a concierge personal matchmaker yes. who tailors your dating pool to maximize your chances of finding Absolutely. love. Absolutely. Which is what we did for her. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, right. okay. How do you do? I'm so happy to meet you. I'm so glad to have a friend on this journey. Right. That didn't happen. Right. We did make that happen. It's just that I, she's a little used to the old school way of doing things, and right. now we do everything Ageism. through app, through website, right. through phone right. calls, right. text. But you know what? The older you get, the harder it is because there are fewer men there are around. Right. And most men, unfortunately, at no matter what age, like younger women. Well, okay, most most men do. It doesn't matter. You know, you could be all those wonderful things, but it's something about a young, fresh face. I mean, how many times you walk down the street and you see a 70-year-old with a 30-year-old or a 25-year-old? So the pool of available <laughs> men is going to be small I the get older that. you get. The fact that he got at least 10 guys to go out with you, you can't even tell me what yeah. happened with these yeah, guys. That, yeah, that, but no, like, nobody promises that they're going to find you true love because only you can make that happen. I understand that, Your Honor. But the more people you date, the better your odds. Sometimes you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. Just don't kiss these. Not these. Yes, but, Not just, these. but you I would, have to have if a slightly I were you, Miss Noonan, different Ms. Noonan if I were you, I'd let him just keep sending me folks. Because oh, guess I what? Can. You're getting better at your dating skills because you haven't dated a man. You and, haven't seen. You haven't okay, seen. Ma'am, please listen to me, please. Okay. But they're frauds. I'm not just. <laughs> you can't tell me about anybody. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, I thought so also. Do you, is there a chair around here? You need a chair. 
Well, you know, it's, it, you know. No, have a seat It's a like with this service. Have a seat they, a second. Thank you. I'm glad there you, you take care of See, older people. There you thank go. you. See? Thank you. Nice. Some nice. of those guys yeah, you were dating, nice. though, they need to sit down too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, I'll get up again. I think you're going to have to stand up yes, there, fine, though. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, no, but I, I mean, I get your point. Right. I know that the pool is small, but right. if you could have seen this particular pool, I just don't right. want this particular now, pool. I want to tell you that this particular pool is the same. You know, you're not going to find tall, dark, handsome, witty, well-traveled, educated, got money, wants to be generous, and he's a great lover. You're not going to find that. you got to go through a lot of men, even in the real world. Well, forget, I, the, forget the world. I listen, I'm, a little, I'm younger than you. I know what it is out there, too. And I, it wasn't 10 years of me not being out there. Is that you got to go through a lot but I want to have people. fun while I'm willing to do that. Well, then but you have, have to make the fun. It. You yeah. have to make the fun. No, I can make the fun, but the I don't better, want to do it with the better, this service. The I want out of we did this every, service, we did and I want my money we back. We really did. We set right. her up on these dates. We right. set everything up for them. The fact we looked for the venues. They didn't promise you love. They promised to connect you with guys, which they did. I mean, it's not like you sat I home for three I, months I, I, waiting on a call from them. They kept... These men are paying, too. Yeah. These are the cheap they men is expecting. The How much do the men pay? They pay about five hundred dollars more. Okay, so they are paying more so than you. So they're pretty serious about. So these can't be schleps well, that are looking for you to pay the bill. Okay, I, they According were to her schleppy. standards. Okay, he, they didn't promise. I think that they delivered what they promised you here. I don't think. Well, so. I do, and it matters what I think right yeah, now. That's un yeah. Is that I, I believe that, and the other thing I believe is that you should reconsider dropping out of this and stick with them you've been by yourself but not for, with them you've been by yourself for 10 years and three months in now they didn't give you mr right you know nope, they didn't give me they, a nice day mr right women outnumber men three to one okay yeah, so they got a lot of choices it's it's going to take some time yeah except that you know i'm not that the men i'm not aren't out I'm, there and so he's exaggerating miss noonan i'm ready i'm ready to rule See, I'm talking to you. Remember, you're a good listener. You're not. You're a good, good talker, like I said. I'm ready to rule. Judgment for the defendant. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I'm glad you're going to stick with it. We're going to do the best we can for you. Well, if I'm going to stick with it, you better find me a big pool of younger men. Coming up. Weeks and weeks of making these dresses. Now she doesn't want the dress. Maybe she saw something else that she liked. Well, did you ask better. her? Did you say, like a mother, a stay-at-home mom that you are? Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Cheryl Garcia is suing her ex-husband's new wife, Stacy Deff, in the amount of $725. Ms. Garcia claims she made dresses for her daughter's quinceanera and says Ms. Deff replaced them without consulting her. You're suing uh, Ms. Deff for $725. This represents the cost of some dresses. Correct. Okay, so I understand that you were making dresses for your daughter? Yes, for her quinceanera party. party. Um, it was for my daughter's dress and also for her court's dress. Okay. Dresses. And the um, defendant is? My ex-husband's current wife. Okay. What do you do for a living? Yes, ma'am. I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I do the shopping. I uh -huh. do the cooking. You know, so you're a housewife. I keep I keep up. Taking care of a 15-year-old daughter. She's oh, okay. 16 that's, now. That's your daughter? That's my daughter. And your husband got custody of your daughter? No, we share custody. Okay, we so... We have split custody. Okay, you were planning for her quinceanera party. Correct. So we had a conversation with uh -huh. my daughter, with my ex-husband. Okay. Um, and we and did... And was the defendant a part of the conversation? She was involved in the conversations. I'm a seamstress. I have my own shop. Um, I do specialize in making um, dresses for parties such as quinceañeras or weddings. Did you talk with your daughter about what she wanted in her dress? We did. We picked out the material. With your daughter, um, you picked daughter. out the material. <laughs> we okay. picked out the cut of the dress. My daughter came in with her friends. Like she To your shop? To my shop, yes. Okay. Um, we did the final fitting, everything fit. Everybody uh, tried on their dresses. Everybody tried Everybody's on the dresses. Everybody's happy. Everybody was happy. Okay. You have um, pictures of the dresses? No. I do, Your Honor. Let me see the pictures. You were t in your statement, you talked about how important it was to make these dresses, and you don't even have a picture of the dresses? No, I didn't bring them with me. 
So these orange dresses were the dresses? Yes. Okay. So you dropped the dresses off the week before. It was his week. Um, I went ahead and dropped off the dresses. Right. Um, Somebody bring the 15 year old? No, she's, no, she's at school. Okay, but this was a court day. Because I believe be your defense is that she didn't like the dresses. Right. Coming up. She was crying and said that she was embarrassed. If she doesn't like the dress, then she doesn't like the dress. She doesn't need to have an excuse or a reason why. Closed captioning provided by you're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Cheryl Garcia, who is suing Stacy Deff for reimbursement of funds. What happened when, she, uh, when the dresses were delivered? Uh, well, Lindsay was not home, so I put them upstairs in her room. And when Lindsay came home, I said, oh, the dresses are there. So she went up. I thought she was going to come back down and be excited with mm -hmm. it on. But right. I didn't hear from her. So I went up to see if everything was OK. And she was crying and said that she was embarrassed, that it's hard to speak with Cheryl as far as like she, when she has her heart into something like right. this, anything you tell her, any little thing like, oh, you this know, doesn't make sense to me girl. that you are weeks and weeks of making these dresses. These girls have come in for fitting and everything. And the day you drop off these dresses, now she doesn't want the dress because she saw other options, Your Honor, that she liked. Well, wh and maybe where did she see these brands. other options? Oh, you know, at different stores that I take the her shopping mother to. drops off the dresses. You tell the, her daughter that your dresses are upstairs, and you're telling me at that point you went up there, she says, I don't like them. What happened? Maybe she saw something else that she liked. Well, that did you was ask better. her? Did you say, like a mother, a stay-at-home mom that you are, uh, why don't you like these dresses? Your mother's worked very hard on these dresses. Why didn't you say this to her? I was more concerned about Lindsay. It was Lindsay's day, Lindsay's right. party. If she doesn't like the dress, then she doesn't like the dress. She doesn't need to have an excuse or a reason why. It's After her mother put all this time into it, did you call her, her and say- Her mother hand sewed them. She wanted something more couture and more vintage, something that had more style. Right, what did you do? I took her to, and bought her whatever dress she wanted. And you and said, let me take you shopping and we'll buy new yeah, dresses? Yeah, it helped right away. The right thing to have done was to call her mother. Because you could play mother all day long, but that's her mother right there. And you should have called her to say, we got a problem. What do you think we should do? Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. You just took a shop. Well, Your Honor, I spent the money out of my pocket. Right. I did not ask for a refund or right. reimbursement. Let for me see the over... dresses you bought her. I'll have to get them from the photographer, Your Honor. I, but I you, still were, you were the able to bring from these the, dresses the in. And she I'm was trying to understand with those something dresses. else. When we go shopping, you need the other seven girls. So you rounded up all seven girls? Because everybody has to be fitted. They just want it all to be in coinc like coincidal with the same style, same color. So you're telling me you bought eight dresses, seven for girls who never tried them on? No, ma'am. This doesn't make any sense to me. I don't try to make sense out of nonsense. You owe her $725. Judgment for the plaintiff. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $725. I wish you should have called me. It was all about Lindsay. I was trying to make Lindsay happy. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.